Hi, this is Naomi with TopShelfVA.com. This tutorial will demonstrate how to create custom-shaped PNG assets in Photoshop other than your normal square or rectangle filled with a photo using the mask feature and then saving the asset to use in Camtasia or other video editing software or simply as an image with a transparent background to use elsewhere. I have another video demonstrating the same effect using PowerPoint, which is linked below. Let's create a new document by clicking on File, then New or Control and N on a PC or Command and N on a Mac. Let's name the file Camtasia Callout Circle Photo Fill. I always create for the largest dimensions to allow for resizing without losing quality, so I'll use video dimensions of 1920 by 1080 at 300 dpi resolution. The minimum DPI for images for video should be 150 DPI. This way, no matter the size of the monitor your video is shown on, the quality will remain the same. I stick with 300 DPI as a habit from creating print materials. My habit is always to save the file immediately and save quite a few times throughout my work. Click on File, Save As, or Control plus Shift plus S, or Command plus Shift plus S on a Mac. Then go to the location on your hard drive where you want to save the file. We've already named the file during our initial setup, so all we have to do is click on Save. The first thing I like to do is find the dead center of my image, so when I create assets, I can start from the center out. An easy trick to find the dead center is to click on your Crop tool, or C. You will see at the dead center point is a little circle with crosshatch marks. Then moving your cursor to the top ruler and holding your left mouse key down, drag a horizontal guideline down to the center. Then move your cursor to the left ruler and holding your left mouse key down, drag a vertical guideline over to the center. Now you have guidelines of what the dead center of your image is. This will be useful when you are trying to center your custom shaped asset in order to get the largest asset on the screen. Now click on File, then Place Embedded and find the image you want to use for your asset. I'll double click on it to place it in Photoshop, which it places directly in the dead center. Then I click on Enter to complete the placement. For this first asset, we want to create a simple circle asset or callout for Camtasia. Go to the Marquee tool and click on the drop down arrow to bring up the drop down menu and select the elliptical marquee. To create a perfect circle from the center, place your cursor over the center guidelines, holding down your left mouse key and then holding down the Shift and Alt key or your Shift and Option key. Move your cursor out from the center almost the full height of the image. On our Layers panel, click on the Mask tool and it will mask everything on the outside of the circle. But I really want to have Wayne and Peachel at the center of the circle. To move an image around within your masked area, click on the lock link between the image and your mask. Then look to see what is currently active. You can tell this by the white frame around the mask on the image. Right now the mask is active and I want to move the image, so I will click on the image to make it active. Click on the Move tool or V to select it and you can now move the image around with in the masked area. Now watch what happens if you drag too far over. You lose the circle because the straight edge of the image is inside the mask. This is the one thing to pay attention to while moving the image around. Once we are happy with the location of the image within the mask, we reconnect it with the mask by clicking again between the image and the mask on the Layers panel, which locks it together. Now let's put a border around the image. Double click on the right side of the image layer to open up the Styles menu. Click on Stroke. Let's change the color to more of an orange by double clicking on the color to bring up the color picker and then select the color we want. Click on OK. You can change the size of the stroke by increasing or decreasing the pixel size. I'm going to keep it at 30 pixels. Then click on OK. We've done a lot of work, so let's click on Control and S or Command and S to save our work thus far. Now we want to export this as a PNG for Camtasia or any other places you might need the PNG image. Image. Right click on the layer and select Quick Export as PNG, then go to the file on your hard drive where you want to save it. In the file name, give it a name you can easily remember. We'll call this Machi Picchu Citadel 
and click on Save. It will then bring up your directory and show you it has saved it as a PNG. You can now close out of the directory. Let me demonstrate for you now the benefit of having a smart object. By clicking on the little smart object icon in the bottom right corner of the image thumbnail, Photoshop opens the original image in another window. Now we want to use a different image. And let's add another layer and delete our current image. Now we'll go to File, Place Embedded, and find another image to load. Click on Enter once the image has been loaded. Then Control and S or Command and S to save it. We'll click back on our original window and look! The image has changed inside of the circle. Smart objects are a great way to work and a way to have more control over Photoshop features. So no matter what, you can always change the picture without having to redo everything. Let's resize this image a little by clicking on the lock in the Layers panel, then clicking on the image. We'll move it over a little, then click on Ctrl T or Command T for the Transform tool in order to resize it just a little bit. Then we'll hit Enter to keep it. Now you can export this image by right-clicking on the layer, selecting Quick Export to PNG, give it a new name, a Naomi Cleaning Machi Picchu, and click on Save. Now how would you do this with a really different custom shape, such as an umbrella shape? Let's hide the Machi Picchu image and click on the New Layer icon. Let's select a new image to embed. File, Place Embedded, and double-click on the image to open, and Enter to place it. Click and hold on the Shape Tool drop-down arrow, and then select the Custom Shape Tool from the drop-down menu. Then move up to your top menu bar and click on the drop-down menu for shapes. Find the shape you would like to use. We're using the umbrella. Place your cursor over the center guidelines holding down your left mouse key and holding down the Shift and Alt key or the Shift and Option key. Move your cursor out from the center almost the full height of the image. You'll see the umbrella shape has been placed on a separate layer. Now click on the Paths tab to bring up the Paths panel. Right-click on the Shape layer and select Make Selection. Make sure the tolerance is at zero and click on OK. You see the tiny little selection ants around the umbrella? Now click back on your Layers panel, turn off the view of the umbrella layer, and the selection will remain. Make sure to click on the Image layer to make it active. Then click on the Mask tool to create your mask. If you want, you can delete the Shape layer. Then we have the same principle of unlocking the image and mask if you want to move the image around. If you want to increase or decrease the size of the image, you can go to Edit, Pre-Transform, or Control t or Command-T to change the size. I'll go ahead and add a border and change the color of the stroke. Then export it as a PNG by right-clicking on the layer, selecting as a PNG, then naming and saving the location I want to save it in. That is how you can create images for your Camtasia callouts. You can now import those images into Camtasia and use them resizing as needed without losing the quality of the image. Now make sure to subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks on using Photoshop, Camtasia, PowerPoint, YouTube, and tips on being a small business owner, or my 60-second tips on just about anything. Then of course there's the It's Friday videos to brighten your day. If you're an electric person like me and like to know a little bit about everything, then this is a place for you. So make sure to subscribe. Also, don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know if this was helpful for you. This is Naomi with TopShelfVA.com. Until we meet again, have a wonderful day!